All right, folks. I usually don't do these YouTube videos, but I found it important to post this as I've been trying to figure out exactly what's going on with my 14-year-old Cocker Spaniel. Um, he has been retching, panting, um, restless, can't get comfortable. And I had a feeling it was congestive heart failure, and I'm taking him in tomorrow, unfortunately, for the inevitable, as he's also lived with IVDD for 10 years now. We've been very lucky to keep him this long, which is a back disease. Um, but I've been looking at videos trying to figure out exactly what's going on with him, and I haven't really had telltale signs until I recently got a link. Um, I am about 100% sure it is congestive heart failure going on. And at his age, um, with the IVDD and everything, I'm just going to bring him in and um, do what's best. But I just want people to see, um, signs to see in your, in your dog so that you can tell maybe before you get in the vet or how serious it is. Um, because right now it's a weekend, so I'm keeping him com as comfortable as possible. Been giving him hemp oil and different and some pain meds left over from my last dog, just to keep him comfortable till Monday. And I will take him in and do the inevitable. He's not in pain. It doesn't seem that's the main thing. Distress, yes, but pain, no. And it's hard to let go. Um, but sometimes, you know, you've got to do what's right. Um, and as you can see, I'll zoom in. If their abdomen is jumping around excessively, which is one thing I didn't see in any of these videos, and they're coughing and gagging like that and not throwing up anything, um, it is congestive heart failure. I'm about 90% sure because I just got a link. Um, sent from a family member that actually listed the abdomen excessively moving while breathing. And that's one thing I didn't see in any of these videos. Um, maybe there are some, there's just so many, maybe I just didn't catch the right one. But I've looked at a lot in the past 24 to 48 hours. And that's one thing I did not see. But you can see the excessive abdomen during the breathing. And obviously he's in distress, not pain, just distress and very uncomfortable, I'm guessing. But at times, I mean, he he, does, he is comfortable because we are giving him, like I said, pain meds and hemp oil and just trying to keep him comfortable till Monday. Um, but that's where we're at with this guy. And um, this is a congestive heart failure. I'm about sure I'm going to take him into the vet. I'm not, I don't even, it doesn't matter. I don't want, there's no x-rays, nothing to be done because at his age and everything he's dealt with, he's lived in a state of paresis for 10 years with uh, IVDD, which like I said, is a common back disease, believe it or not, in dogs. And he's uh, actually lost some control of his, um, of his bowel movements from it from the IVDD for years, he's, you know, but he's lived with it and we've dealt with it and we're grateful to have him this long, but it's time to let him go now as this, as this has progressed. Um, it's, it's, it's obvious that's what it's got to be is congestive heart failure to me. Again, the abdomen jumping around, it is starting to swell up too. It is, um, late Saturday evening, about 10 o'clock, so... He's only got a little, uh, you know, less than 48 hours before, uh, before he gets put out of, uh, out of his distress and, and sent over the Rainbow Bridge. Anyways, I just wanted to post this so that people could see. See, there's that bowel or that abdomen movement again while he's breathing. If you see this, jump, they're jump, it's jumping around like that. It's, it's, it's congestive heart failure. Um, and the abdomen swelling and... Yeah. So anyways, take it for what it's worth. The only reason I don't post a lot of these, I just want people to know 
about the ab if the abdomen's jumping around while they're breathing like that, that's a telltale sign it's congestive heart failure. Uh, again, I didn't see that in most of these other videos. So best of luck to you and your dog. Hopefully everything works out. In this case, my dog's best interest is to get uh, to move over the Rainbow Bridge.